So one of the things that I am doing with my boot camp students this Sunday is I'm having the one and only and amazing Derek, that ADU guy on, to talk about adding ADUs. I also know that a lot of uh, parts of the country do manufactured homes. They plop them on foundations, and that's how they uh, move forward with extra income. So I thought I would talk to Matt, the mortgage guy, about ADUs, about manufacturing homes, because maybe there's a way that folks can get more income from the property they already own. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, for whatever reason, I'm getting so much inquiry around this, and and I think it's interesting conversation, regardless of you know financing options that you know I necessarily have because I've dug in a little bit. We're going to continue to dig. We've got plenty of like one-time construction, no draw loans where we secure the financing and and yes, we can do it, but we're not going to disperse funds until the, the home is completed and it's put on a concrete foundation and water sewer, everything's connected. But I truly believe just from a, you know, fan of real estate and somebody who watches this stuff that this is needed. Me and you talk all the time. The problem is supply. The mm-hmm. the thing that needs to be solved is supply. I There's no program that I could come out with that would fix housing. There's no program that's that's a magic bullet. It needs to come from the other side, which is the supply side. And maybe, just maybe, especially in markets like California, your your future, or I'm sorry, your, your, your past home, my, my current home of California, right? Uh, this is something where when I talk numbers with, with some of these manufactured home dealers, it's just more affordable than stick built. And affordable is a word that people like, especially right now. Yeah. I, so I guess I just have a couple of random questions. We don't, we don't kind of plan this out. So what I think I heard you say is uh, if somebody was interested in putting a manufactured home on their property, you have a lending program that you could get them approved for. However, they would have to front load all of the costs. And then once it's on the foundation connected to sewer or water, you would, I don't know, reimburse them or unlock or whatever the right word is, the funds uh, to kind of make the, uh, I guess, the borrower whole. Is that what I heard? Yeah. And and really, from what I understand, because I'm no expert in, in this type of financing, is sure. this one-time construction is is like new construction. So I'm not even necessarily saying like with an ADU. I, I would okay. I would say for sure there's a plot of land you own and you're going to build a home on it that will be able to secure the financing, approve the loan. Mm. But then whoever's going to deliver, install, hook up, right. all that is not going to get paid until it's actually there. Right. And I know that the the exploratory conversations we've had with manufactured home builders and our, our lending partners is like, can we get them paid mm. to go out and get that before it gets delivered? And I think, you know, there there's going to be some lending partner uh, from what I've heard on their side that says, we're okay with it. We need it to be insured <laughs> while it's right. being delivered, right? Because right. it falls off a truck somewhere <laughs> on yeah, the way. It's not going to help anybody. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting topic because I think it does solve to a certain degree part of the supply issue and more importantly, affordable supply. Yeah. The other thing I want to talk about is ADUs, right? I'm going to have Derek, that ADU guy on uh, this weekend. I expect to get excited about it because I do have some California lots. Um, I know I could get a second on a property. Um, do, do you know if anybody doing like true construction loans on stick built ADUs? Uh, I, I don't. And and I've got a local contractor that does a ton. I was surprised when I started going down this rabbit hole and and, and looking at things. I had uh, a great contact that was a construction manager for Umqua Bank. Closed down their construction department. Mm. Him and his team moved to Banner Bank, another one in California that specializes in construction. When I called yesterday, Mike, no more construction department, Banner Bank. Wow. They're not doing it either. And so, you know, it's it's an interesting environment in lending in general. And that not being my wheelhouse, that being sure. something that I'm reaching out to the experts to, to find out about, um, I was like surprised. Well, I guess well, they're not it, it, it's pretty interesting because that's something I told Lance Lambert uh, like six months ago was I expect this housing depression. Uh, 
to actually take out the regional banks, the small lenders, and constr- building's going to stop. They're not going to lend it. And now you're giving us on the ground access. And again, that's a problem today. It's a hurt to GDP. It's all of those things. But the real problem, six to nine months from now, when there's that extra supply is not there, does shelter inflation go up? Because we don't have any supply? I mean, is that what we're doing? The rates are so high that it's hurting to impact shelter in a negative way? Wow, that could really trip up the Federal Reserve. Right. And that's and that's why, you know, whether it's stick built, whether it's manufactured, like we got to find a way to deliver more supply. And so if there's a way for, for us to finance it on our side, or even if it's not me, even if I find somebody who's willing to do yeah. that for the good of the cause, right, it's it's, right. it's going to be helpful because um, to to these manufactured home, like the guy I talked to yesterday has been doing it for 27 years. Um, and, and they're really good at it, working with all, you know, Silvercrest and Champion and some of the big um, manufactured home builders. Um, most people look at a $600,000 house with five or 10% down. They're just, they're out of the game. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so if, if, if it's an affordable option, um, it's going to be welcomed with open arms. Yeah. Folks, if you have any success or you have experience doing manufacturing homes or construction on ADUs, do me a favor, leave some comments below. Maybe we can add some more folks to this or help Matt meet some more folks. Because again, I think affordability and supply is the problem. We can't have buildings stop, thus making shelter inflation go up. That would be bad. That would be very, very bad. But if somebody wanted to get started in this or reach out to you, Matt, how would they do that? Yeah, for, 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 you know, all the the regular financing, greatmortgagebroker.com. Even if you're thinking about, you know, throwing a a manufactured accessory dwelling unit in your backyard and you want to look at um, a home equity line of credit, which truth be told, in my world, those are the conversations I've had. And that's how most people that I've talked to who have done ADUs is like, hey, listen, I'm going to take out a hundred grand on a home equity line of credit, get get a, you know, rate that might be double digits, but it's fixed. And then, um, you know, especially in California, if I can, yeah. if I can put an ADU in my backyard for a thousand dollars that generates sixteen hundred, eighteen hundred dollars in in revenue, then you know that's going to more than compensate for for that that payment, even if you're borrowing it at eleven percent. So, greatmortgagebroker.com. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. All right, thanks, Mike.